Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Memento playing cards from Valerio Aversa. Uh, Memento, this was a Kickstarter project. It was successfully funded, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, these cards were printed from the Legends playing card company and they came in black and white and for the sake of this deck review we're going to take a look at the whites. The front of this tuck case does have two images. Um, it has this circle uh, image that you can see done in silver foil and then there's a shadowy image that's done uh, around the edges. This side says trust everyone but cut the cards and the other side says life is not a matter of holding good cards but playing a poor hand well. The tuck flap on this has a half moon silver foil uh, image right there. The back side says memento and quality playing cards, and it has all of the pips down there at the bottom, and it does have Valerio Aversa's signature at the bottom. And the bottom of the tuck case has some ad copy about the Legends playing card company. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Legends playing card company, and they are done on the diamond finish paper. They are traditionally cut and they have ultra smooth edges that Legends is absolutely famous for. The back design is very intricate and has a lot of detail. You notice it has that same circle icon that we saw on the front of the tech case. Okay, so Valerio's inspiration for this deck and it is tied into the word memento because a memento, what that is, is it's something that helps us remember. Right? A memento is something that helps us reminisce, it helps us to relive experiences that are long forgotten, and so the memento deck kind of helps refocus the art of playing card design all the way back to the beginning, to its roots. So the emphasis is, well, it's twofold. You have the historical figures that we all know that are traditionally played in the court cards, and then we all know um, just the different suits and uh, what the different symbols and meanings are for those. So the standard court cards of today, you might know that they trace all the way back to uh, the early 16th century. The individuals portrayed on those cards represents all these different people like Charlemagne, Julius Caesar, even uh, biblical characters like David. And so that is what Valerio is shooting for uh, when he created this deck. With this deck, you're gonna get two really interesting cards. Um, it's the wheel again, and then inside the wheel are the descriptions of who all these historical figures are that are represented in the courts, and a little bit of a, a bio about each one. Uh, one card is done uh, on red ink on white, and the other card is done with white ink on red. Pips and indice cards are all completely original and have new layouts as well as fonts and colors. You'll also notice that this is a quad pip layout so that there is a numeric in each one of the corners. You'll also see that there are two jokers. There is a black full-size joker and a red full-size joker, and the words underneath the jester hat say some men just want to watch the world burn. So here's a real quick glimpse at some of the court cards from this deck. As you can see, they have a very drawn, a stylized appearance, and they also have the name of the individual in the corner. Well, that is it for this deck review of the Memento playing cards from Valerio Aversa. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.